hey all and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutzy Gaming and a video really to look at two league starter ideas that I've had that I'm hoping can scale well into endgame. So the first one we're going to look at is going to be a Mana Bond Hierophant and then the second one is going to be a Reaper and Absolution built around the Necromancer. So before we actually go into the two builds and look at how I think we can scale these, I want to start out by saying that I think Minion and Totem builds are going to be really popular this league mainly due to the changes in the flask charges. Minion and totem builds really only need defensive flasks. You can set your auto flask up to remove an elemental ailment when it gets applied to you. So really all you need to do is move around, place totems or minions and stay alive. And then your flask can do the rest when you need them to. So as I say, the two skills I've narrowed my league starters down to a mana bond and summon reaper with absolution. So we'll look at the mana bond build first. This is going to be built around the Hierophant because of all the regen, mana, various different nodes we get that really synergize well with the skill. Now the skill on its own looks like it's got quite a high base damage and we get more damage from having uh, more mana and more mana missing. It's also available at level 12 so it's something we can hopefully pick up nice and early on and just level all the way with it. We can also combine it with things like Arcane Cloak, Sigil of Power and obviously Art Mage to scale the damage really high. It looks like also we can maybe look into AoE scaling and look at maybe a clear speed build. It's going to be really interesting to see if we can push our damage high enough with just in mana, Archmage and spell damage. Can we then put something like Unleash or Spell Echo or Spell Cascade in with the skill and see if we can come up with some combos that are going to clear entire screens. We also can look at defensive aspects such as Mind Over Matter, Cloak of Defiance and Agnostic so we can get some really high regen with our life then regening from our mana and hopefully get a nice cycle going of unless we get absolutely spanked by a massive telegraphed hit that we're going to be able to stay alive just through our regen really. Now I do think Hierophant's going to see some changes to its ascendancy. I think there's for example the Consecrated Ground that gives you elemental ailment immunity I think might be going so we need to have a look at how we build around that. But it's not the end of the world because I assume if they get rid of it, they're going to put something decent in its place. So we will revisit this when all of the skill trees and patch notes come out. So I think this is definitely going to be my league starter. So the other build I had in mind was a Summon Reaper and Absolution build. Now this one is a bit more tentative because I don't really like the way in the showcase they only showed up to a three link, I think, on this Reaper gem. It looked like it was also in really like campaign areas. I think the highest level we saw was Blood Aqueducts and it didn't look amazing in there. So either this skill is absolute garbage and they're trapping people into playing it or potentially we can scale it really high. My idea behind this build was that we have our Absolution in a four link Elder Helmet with something like plus minion gems and minion damage. And then we have our Reaper six linked in our chest. As Absolution looks like it's a range spell, all we need to do is cast this, hit enemies, our Reaper then kills these enemies and that spawns the Absolution minions. They're then available for the Reaper to feed off of when needed and we should have a nice cycle of damage through all of our minions. As it also looks like Reaper applies bleed, can we scale stuff with chance to bleed, damage over time? Can we go away from just physical damage and look at pure damage over time? More for bossing damage because I'm thinking for clearing the damage is going to be fine anyway. But for bosses, pure physical might not be enough to do enough damage at endgame. So can we scale up the bleed and damage over time aspect of this? I need to have a look at this a bit more once we get more details of the gems. So these are the two options I've got at the moment. Um, feel free to comment on what you think I should go for or whether you've had some really good ideas of your own that you think could be really powerful. Uh, I am I think I'm definitely going mana bond and I'm really looking forward to league starting with a new skill it's not something i've done that often i tend to go sort of safe and tried and tested but for this league is there anything that's particularly safe and tried and tested probably not so that was just a quick video to show two builds that i'm interested in playing i hope this sort of content is interesting in a couple of days look out for the full league starter build guide for both of these builds if you find this content interesting and helpful please consider liking and subscribing I will be streaming live on Twitch when we league start. Hopefully for the first seven days, we'll just see how it goes. So if you want to see someone struggle with a new skill and laugh at them while you're breezing through the campaign with your tested build, then drop in and say hi. But until then, take care and see you in the next video.